Well, good afternoon, folks. Uh, it's good uh, to be able to take a few moments just to speak to you here this afternoon. You'll see uh, I'm outside the building. I just thought we'd take a few minutes just to walk you through some of the things uh, that are in place uh, for to enable us to, to return uh, to worship safely on Sunday. Uh, you'll know we said over and over again that it's great to be able to be back in worship, uh, but we want to ensure that that is done safely. And we as a Kirk session have decided that we can do that safely. Um, but I thought it would be good uh, just to give you a little indication of some of the things that have been in place. Uh, you'll see behind me there, there's a number of notices uh, to do with keeping social distancing and so on. And um, we would ask you above all else uh, to maintain that at all times. If, you're coming to the, if you come into the car park uh, and there's too many people standing at the door waiting to go in, uh, please just uh, take those few moments uh, and stay in your car uh, and then approach uh, the building when it is safe to do so. If you're watching this now, can I ask you if it is possible for you uh, to come uh, that little bit earlier? Allow plenty of time as you come to worship uh, so that we can get everyone in safely and get the service started in the normal time. But I'm going to turn the camera around uh, in a little minute and we're going to take a walk uh, in through uh, the building. You'll know, uh, as I mentioned there, that there's plenty of room uh, for distancing coming up there and up in, and there are. Uh, these number of little notices if you want to take time uh, when you arrive to pay heed to them obviously thanking you for uh, social distancing and reminding you that we need to observe it at all times there is also the little notice that we shared before about staying safe at church and all the advice that it gives about sticking to the rules uh, assessing the risks the risks uh, fostering good routines uh, and taking that uh, individual responsibility for our actions as we come uh, to worship so if you're standing here at the door and have those few moments or if you take a few moments before uh, you come uh, to go onto our Facebook page and take a look at those, I encourage you to do so. As you come in through uh, the front door, there will be somebody who will greet you here uh, with hand sanitizer. Uh, we would please ask uh, that you sanitize your hands on the way in and take the little uh, bit of hand sanitizer they're offering to you. Just some more little notices as we go in through. As you come to the main doors of the hall, uh, you will see, please wait here. Uh, the elders or uh, steward will meet you at this door and take you into your seat. Uh, please wait here uh, at this door until one of them is free uh, to take you up uh, to your seat in the hall. And whilst you're in uh, the vestibule of the hall here, please uh, maintain uh, your social distancing at all times. As I come into the hall, you can see how the seating is laid out. Obviously, our numbers are drastically reduced, uh, but all the chairs uh, are set out and measured out at the two metre distance. Uh, I know for some things uh, that distance is down to, to one metre uh, with mitigations, but as a church, uh, we are remaining at two metres uh, until uh, further notice. Uh, so you will see uh, the layout of the church. You'll notice up uh, the right hand side there, there are some groups of two and three uh, to accommodate uh, groups and, and families and couples, uh, but that is also available anywhere. If you're coming in as a couple, uh, just let the steward or the elder know uh, and they will get you extra chairs uh, to, to accommodate uh, you, your partner or your family. Um, you will see some sitting at the side there. There are others uh, in the wings as well available to do that. So please don't worry. Uh, you can still sit with members of your household. Uh, not necessarily, as I said last week, family, but uh, from your same household. You'll notice up on the stage things are drastically reduced as well. Uh, there is Mark on the piano, myself uh, at the lectern, uh, and one singer to maintain uh, the social distancing. Uh, and they are all set at a minimum of four metres away from the front row of the congregation as a mitigation uh, to the spread uh, of the virus. On, uh, the, at the end of the service, um, as I mentioned last week as well, uh, the elders will move into the body of the church and we would ask you to uh, please take heed of uh, their instructions as they lead you out the exits uh, one row at a time. Uh, these rows from the front of the hall uh, will leave uh, by that, the fire exit there and you'll see hand sanitizer available there if you want to use it on, on the way out. And of course, the rows at the back of the hall uh, will exit through 
uh, the main entrance you came in through uh, at the back there with that little reminder once again uh, of maintaining social distancing at all times. I know that's difficult at the end of a service uh, but uh, please uh, take heed uh, of those notices and uh, maintain social distance at all time. We do want things to be safe uh, for you to return to worship. It's wonderful to be able to come back uh, and to worship God uh, together but of course we want to do so uh, safely. I'm going to try and flip uh, the camera back around again now. So I'm back with you now. I don't know what that transition was like uh, but uh, I really am looking forward uh, to meeting with you uh, on Sunday here. It's been uh, it's been brilliant uh, to be able to meet uh, on Facebook and YouTube and so on. It's been a great medium for us to be able to meet, uh, but it will be great to be able to meet in fellowship once again. If you are unsure about coming, uh, please leave it a few weeks. We don't want to put any pressure on anyone uh, that they have to return to worship. If you are shielding, uh, we encourage you to take that advice of the, the medical professionals in that issue. We'll leave it at that uh, for today and we'll see you on Sunday morning at, at half eleven uh, back to worship uh, as we were before uh, the lockdown. See you all then. Just want to show those couple of little videos uh, with a few of our volunteers just showing you uh, one person going in at a time maintaining the two metres social distancing and also using uh, the hand sanitizer on the way in. And you'll see the second person just waits at the door until the first one is led to their seat at the front and then are seated by the elder and then the elder will make their way down back down the hall again and take the next person uh, to their seat. Morning, are you on your road? That's okay, almost me. We'll move on now to a second little video showing a couple coming in together. Again, hand sanitizer at the door on the way in and being met and then taken to their seat uh, together and led up the front uh, by a steward. And as I mentioned in the earlier little video, uh, you'll see the chairs in twos and threes uh, for couples to come into. Don't worry, you will be led to the appropriate seat and extra chairs, as I said, will be available as you require them for the size of your family. Well, folks, that's probably as clear as mud, as the saying goes, uh, but everything is there for your safety. Uh, and there are just two things that I want to highlight uh, as we close this video. Please do not feel under any pressure to come. I know I'm repeating myself there, but please. I do not feel that you must come to church. Come to church when you are ready and we would love to see you uh, at that point. Uh, and when you do come to church, whether that's this Sunday or sometime in the future, uh, please, please, please listen uh, to what the, the elders and the stewards have to say and follow their directions. Uh, we really do want to keep everyone safe, but we really want to enjoy uh, that experience of, of worshiping together in our building as a united congregation of God's people here in Glendermott. So I uh, will see some of you on Sunday and we'll see some of you in the near future. Uh, but continue to, well, as I always say, uh, keep safe, keep trusting and keep praying. And uh, we'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.